But tell us a bit more then about uh, this uh, allegation then that the charges are politically motivated. Well, the, says what the camp of Khalifa Sal is saying. He didn't attend uh, the verdict today because he said, you know, I know what was going to happen. Uh, this uh, sentencing of five years in prison will be confirmed, and therefore, I will not be able uh, to run as candidate. However, uh, he's lodging an appeal to uh, the Cour de Cassation, the highest uh, instance uh, in Senegal, and they will decide in the end whether he can or cannot rule in next February's presidential election in Senegal. Basically, the allegation is that while he was mayor of Dakar, the capital of Senegal, he used public uh, funds essentially to reward his supporters or certain pet projects. He said, this was done by everyone. I was not taking money away. Uh, I was just uh, doing what everyone was doing. And therefore, this is a political uh, trial. And uh, uh, clearly, there's a lot of tension right now in Senegal. Senegal is often described as a kind of beacon of democracy in West Africa, uh, where you have elections and uh, the presidents change and uh, the defeat is accepted uh, by the opponent. And there is a risk that in next February we could arrive to a different uh, situation. Macky Sall said he would run again, and Khalifa uh, Sall wants to, to run, but he's not the only one. And there are also concerns uh, by human rights groups uh, that the legal system is being used for political purposes. Amnesty International came with really a very harsh report uh, about Senegal, saying Senegal is being depicted as a kind of haven of democracy, of human rights. Actually, that's not the case. The justice system is being used and abused for political purposes. And there are other politicians in Senegal with presidential ambitions who are having legal woes. Yes, uh, that's uh, part of uh, the problem. Uh, another uh, key contender is uh, Karim Wad, who is uh, the son of a former uh, president, uh, Abdoulaye Wad. He is in exile in Qatar, uh, has been for several years. He uh, was also uh, sentenced uh, to several years uh, in prison for alleged embezzlement. He has also said that those were essentially cooked up charges and uh, he his uh, the legal process that he went through was deemed unfair by a number of international organizations including uh, by the United Nations and he said he would be candidate however he was not allowed to register uh, for uh, next year's presidential election he's saying uh, I'm being prevented from running so you see there's a lot of tension uh, building up because two of the key contenders are not allowed to run, at least for now. There might be other decisions, but clearly this is leading to probably more tensions in Senegal in the month ahead. All right, thank you very much.